Hi, this is Dr. Fryer, and today is uh, September 29th, 2020. I'd like to show you how you can install Google Dictionary for Chrome, and we're going to do that because this little app is going to let us actually define any word on many, many web pages, including Newsomatic, which is a program we're going to be using. Um, so you can find this assignment in our Google Classroom um, underneath Reading in Spanish. And so here's the link. It says Install Google uh, Dictionary. So you're going to go ahead and click on this, and it's going to open up. Um, this is an extension, and so you want to always be careful when you install extensions. This one has over 4 million users, 4.5 stars with it's almost 16,500 you know, reviews, that's really, really positive. You just want to make sure that you're not installing something that could be bad. And it's not to say everything that has very few users or reviews is bad, but it's a sign. And so you want to be checking that and just really be sure before you do what I'm going to do, which is click on Add to Chrome. So you're going to click Add Extension. And so now this Google Dictionary is available in whatever web page you happen to use. So as an example, um, I'm logged in here to Newsomatic. And we're going to be using this in our Spanish class. And I'll just log in here. And if I go to an article, I can go ahead and click on Language and switch it over to Spanish. I can actually click read it to me. El cerebro de las abejas. Científicos están descubriendo los misterios de los cerebros de las abejas. So if I'm not sure uh, what, for instance, the word cerebro is, I can double click it and look at that. Isn't that cool? It translates it right there and I can see that cerebros means brains or the brain. And so this is really a handy thing when we are uh, needing definitions. It doesn't just work for Spanish, it works for other languages as well. But you can double click and it's just so fast to be able to get that definition. So that was Google Dictionary. It is free and you just need to install that on your Google account and then you'll be able to use that on many, many different websites that allow you to double click on the words.